Welcome back everyone to the next installment of Salt and Sanctuary. I did a bunch of leveling up, but I did not yet spend my skill points because we can take a look at flavor. For example, the last thing I did was I think pump some endurance, I want to say, or maybe it was the dexterity. So our expedition began on the 14th day of the month of harvest in the year of Alarash 472. The purpose of the ranging was to track, hunt, and eliminate Narland. No, I think we did read this. Narland constructs. Strength. This looks different. Egari slashed the throat of one. Another he impaled, opening a third and fourth. The ground grew wet with red. The tail of Velkaram stands at 24. Damn. Now you can see I have six black pearls. So I can really pump myself a little bit. So I can work my way up to class 3 sword fighter. Let's do strength again. Vaskel was strong as well. Strong as any man of the Iron Forge Guard. Different enemy. No, different not many. 117. But now let's just skip Sword Fighter 2 so I can wield Class 3 swords. I get the feeling if I want to wield Class 2 swords, I'm still going to have to unlock Class 2 Sword Fighter. But anyway. Suddenly, Ardiana gasped. In the woods, in the flicker of campfire, there were faces. A dozen faces. More. A hundred. The woods were alive and they were not pleased. Annals of Grimson, page 71. Now I'm a serious badass. And we could just go all the way up to super duper class 4 sword fighter? What's that? Go to class 5. I don't even know where class 4 is. I actually really have no idea where class 4 is. Or, or class 2, for that matter. Class 4 assassin. But I'm not connected to that path. I'd have to go this way. But that could get me super daggers and a lot of willpower. Just like the swords, it gave me... Three points of strength. So the three black pearls actually did go somewhere. I'm considerably stronger now. More strength. I do want that will, though. That stamina. But I also want a quip load. That's the whole problem. You know, what do I what do I go for? Well, here's class four sword fighter. Where's class two? Unless this was it. No, I did get it. I did get it. I could still go a little more, but I want endurance as well so I can run faster and roll farther. You know, it, it's a whole thing. There's very little endurance as I go. I think I'm going to pump endurance twice, believe it or not. We embarked on the Green Grove Trail, heading northeast from Levin. We would travel three days time northeast, then head directly east into the woods to track Narlands along Glyffindel Crag. Cliffindel. The Fully Null Horrors. Horror, comma, S? Uh, oh no, horror. S5. Got it. And then there were clues, but Aldrich was powerless to put them to use. He noted Councilman Fardrick's curious absence from the morning minutes, but he may have taken ill. Dooley? Chambers? 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 Initiate to the guard and second cousin of Councilman Fardrick was late to morning roll, but that wasn't incredibly unusual. And a set of keys to the larder had gone missing, but that was more likely a consequence of negligence than an act of foul play. The Crimson Quell, paragraph 4. Alright, there's my endurance. It's a little better. Let me, I don't think I need to heal again, but there. Also, uh, in my grinding, I picked up a few things. Pest mud. A vial of highly toxic pest mud, a sap harvested from trees found deep in Kidani swamps. Apply it to your weapon for poison damage. I have five light vessels. We've already covered that. Anything else? Oh yeah, I, I, sh I gotta get the prayer classes if I want to ever use these. Uh, mail? I mean, we gotta chain stuff. The Spatha. Yeah, I got a couple items. Raider's Targe? I forgot if I got that. No, I've seen this. Wooden Targe, though. A simple round shield constructed from hardwood bound with iron rivets. Common and inexpensive, shields of this type are a staple among would-be warriors unable to afford better equipment. This one bears numerous dents and scuffs, which indicate that it has already seen considerable use. A yeah, mediocre. Drowned Bandit's Ear? Now we've seen that. Drowned Raider's Ear? But I believe we got that. Soldier's Ear? 
Rotted ear of a drowned soldier. It's as grisly as it is valuable, as it is definitive proof that whoever holds it has bested its reanimated owner. And then drowned peasant's ear. Perhaps it's fitting these poor souls return from the dead, for no one even thought to erect a gravestone in their names when the darkness took them. Lock of hair. A soldier's memento to a deceased loved one. Memento. It held the promise of eventual reunion. You could use it by a blacksmith to upgrade, so there's actual upgrade materials I got from this. Now, let's go back out here for the hundredth time. Because I did a bunch of grinding. Actually, I am reminded. Uh, when you die, because I died a couple times, I was wondering why the, the cleric took my money. I, it looks like you lose a tenth of your money. So if I have a million gold, I lose a hundred thousand. I'm going to buy some blessed pages. How do I... That's how you do it. Did I already do it? There it is. Okay. Now, there are some things that are very expensive in this game, I suppose. But, at the same time, if you're at risk of death, you might as well spend money, because use it or lose it. So a page of a blessed tome, the strength of a thousand miracles still clinging playfully to it. Holy damage. And then a light vessel? A sealed clay vessel of light water? Is that just my health? Oh well. Let's go and do this thing for real at long last. All right, now that we've taken care of that business, we're actually going back out left. And moving right along. Now remember this, we opened this little hidden area. Well, this time, we're going this way. Skull bat wing, okay, not too surprising. Self bow as opposed to what? Infantry pole axe, sure, there it is, which I can equip. A simple bow cut from a single curved hardwood branch and strung with sinew. Used mainly for hunting small game, bows of this type require only a few basic materials and are relatively easy to construct. For children in many of the western continent's forest dwelling tribes, crafting one and mastering its use are, I guess are, are not only integral elements, yeah, of their community's coming-of-age ceremonies, but practical skills of everyday life as well. Okay, fair enough. There we go, a convenient shortcut back. Oh, I see. This might work. No. Torch. Okay, I came back. You know what I'm gonna do? Easy. Okay, we're back. Alright, so I got some salt and a soldier's spear. A common polearm in widespread use throughout the continents typically is a complement to shorter weapons such as maces and swords. Crafted in various styles or purposes, both practical and ceremonial, spears are, are an ubiquitous sight in the hands of gate guards and infantrymen. Good for me. Didn't see that, and what the hell? Why do I get the feeling I don't want to go anywhere near there? The floor regenerates real quick, doesn't it? Maybe we'll just go this way? Yeah, hello, sir. 
Hello, friend. Trinkets to sell, trinkets for coin. Well, this is... Can I seriously not sell? <sighs> friend, I'm so happy you came along. I've gathered things. Trinkets. Trinkets and such. Trinkets for gold. That's what I've got. Trinkets for coin. How'd you end up here? I stood away. Sold trinkets in Tanaber. Trinkets for coin. So poor, though. Talk of wealth in Karhi. Even beggars like me have got manservants there, they say. Stowed away. Sailed, then. That storm. Imagine the surprise on those sailors' faces. Seeing the likes of me in the wreckage there with all them honest men. All of us. Floating in the sea, clinging to planks. Shivering in the icy cold. Not sure how many of the others made it to shore. That shivering, shivering shore. But the trinkets I find here, they do sell, they do. Doing quite nicely, I am. Soon enough, I'll be able to buy my escape. Somehow. 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 Oh, man. What do you have, buddy? Oh, you just sell locks of hair. 500, though. The, mm, endless Fang. I I've gotten a few of those, which is kind of nice. Bolt. Flame. Oh, Flame Bolt. Fiery Payload. Torch. Stained Page. These can be important. A page from an unholy tome, stained in shifting darkness. Apply it to your weapon to add arcane to your attacks. Crush its brittle pages in a holy place to expunge its sacred light. Yeah, I can use this as a, a way to defile a sanctuary that is not my own, and I get attacked for doing that. And I have to kill the attackers before I can claim the sanctuary. Before I do that, Doppel Soldner Barbut. Class 2 heavy armor, though, so I can't wear it. But that's classy stuff. Versus the beggar set. Which I could probably do better than that. But it is heavy armor, though. Mm. But what's also important about this guy is he's the one who sells boss armor once I've killed bosses. So this Doppel Soldner stuff is actually the Sodden Knight's armor. Which is pretty great. But it's very expensive. I think I'll buy a stained page, which, there it is, which unfortunately means I can no longer buy the, the doppel Soldner armor, unfortunately, so I'll move on. God's bless. Haha, -ha, got some gold back, buddy. Anyway. Well. Oh, what about that trick? No, I have to. I can't just drop through the floor. It's too thick. Lightning bolt. Of course, I can't cast that. But what if I could? You know. Oh, not a prayer. Where would I find this? Would it be attack, like as a spell? No. Wait, that was, oh, the platoon crossbow. How do I look this up? There it is. Class two, magic. Summon a bolt of lightning, the lightning may pass through multiple targets. A conduit such as a wand or staff is a powerful channeling tool in the hands of an experienced mage. There you go. Okay, there we go. Wow. That's really? Oh. God damn. Okay. I'm going to die. What a freakish creature. Should have rolled. It's fine, everything's fine. Nothing is nothing is wrong. I just didn't think you'd connect. Ah. 
I just can't get out of the way fast enough. Stained page and stone mage. Nice. Oh. What's the health on this guy? Lunge, you fool. What is the health in this thing? Oh man, there it is. Yeah, I'm looking this guy up. Feral beast. Unspeakable deep. Armor might. A cave dwelling, heavily armored, chitinous creature. The armor might is actually two creatures an ogre crab and the fleshy bipedal victim, usually a man. It is repurposed as its torso half. Ew. The victim doesn't actually die during the fusion, though, so once the process has begun, it cannot survive without its host. Well, that's disgusting. But I beat him. Not bad. Anyway, I'm out of here. Oh, my torch is gone. Anyway, whatever. We made it out. That's freaky. Let's get out of here. God, this thing's freaky. I just don't have a... This guy doesn't even... It's not even that threatening. I just don't have a good way of hitting him. I was trying for a uh, the parry. That would have been great. You see, I, I, I actually did it, but it didn't stun him. This guy's just annoying enough. There it goes. Not even that hard to kill either. So what was this thing? Blade Wraith. A cloaked creature of chains and bones. Blade Wraiths, like so many of this island's Kraken inhabitants, are constructs of some powerful conjurer, weaved from materials both corporeal and ethereal. Alright. Huh? That looks like a death. Probably. This looks like a nuisance. Okay, those I think were death pits. Okay. Oh, there's a, an enemy below me. Easily dispatched. Am I allowed? Yeah, I can climb through the floor. Although it collapses again, it's fine. I wonder, can you just see? Yeah, you can just watch the floor magically reappear. Works for me. Oh, hello. Calling Horn and Stone Guide. Calling horn, a card war horn, sounded to travel to any sanctuary with a guide in it. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Stone guide. Well, that's a stone mage. Allows mages to practice craft, grants magic potency bonus. So I must have already gotten a stone guide? Yeah. Oh, item find bonus. Okay, fair enough. Alright. More importantly, though... That's, that's a callback. Look at that. We're back in the, the first area. 
How about that action? Am I allowed to chill? Are they gonna be mad? I could still level up, although I actually can't afford to level up. Am I allowed to buy? I could sell. That's freaking awesome. Alright, so... Whoa! I get freaked out when that happens. Uh... I have two midshipmen's dirks, so I'll sell one of them. Why not? Flanged mace. I guess it's my spare, so sure. Wooden targe. Got it. All of a sudden, I cannot afford that, uh... Oh, I get the Drown Tome. Sells for a lot in the Shimmering Pearl, of course. But all of a sudden, I can't afford to buy that one ring he has. Lantern... Oh, the Lantern Charm? I would love that. The Salt Seeker's Ring... Oh, what the hell. I didn't already buy that, did I? Because I'm going to feel like a... Uh, quite a fool if I already did. Come back soon. No, we're good. Bing. Now I know which enemy killed me and where I can find him. But it's still going to be quite a bit for me to be able to afford that Lantern Charm, and I would really like it. But, oh well. Let's go back. Oh, actually, am I allowed to level up? Do I have anything that can do that for me? Oh, I forgot. Yeah, I found a potato as well. A potato from the earth offers no healing benefit, but can be thrown at foes. Just chuck it at them. Boil them, mash them, chuck them at a foe. So, uh, salt? I have a bundle of salt. Eh. I think I just found. 2100. That's not quite there. That's not quite there for leveling up. I'm close, I think. 2320. Oh man, that's so close. But oh well, let's go back. Maybe I could find something to take out. I just have to be very careful of these. Death pits. Oh no, that's right, I don't need to concern myself with the death pits because I'm going here. You think you're gonna bite me? Bite or bite again. Think again. Oh well. Anyway. Actually, there we go. Oh, ho ho! And little bottles here? Is that the hint about the wall? Okay, I can't position myself on it. Secret door to the right, just directly. Treasure. How about that action? That's quite the ladder. But there's a full on chest here. Kismet stone and a bundle of salt. Well, I could certainly level up with this. Kismet stone is a ring. A delicate ring carved of a solid chunk of precious gem. Adventurers always seek pilfered prizes, but it seems that whether a slain foe spoils or all trash or treasure always comes down to luck. Increase your item find rate? Oh god, yes please. That's freaking excellent. And I get the salt. Marvelous. I'm gonna level up. Why not? It's not like I have to go far, right? Okay. Tree of skill. What am I buying? I would like some willpower, honestly, but I would also like some endurance, you know? It's, there's always something. There's always something. I could get more strength here, which leads to will, but I could also get strength here, which leads to will, or strength here, which leads to will. Oh, there's my class 4 sword fighter again. Let's do this. Strength again. The man, an Ascarian by the looks of him, dusted me off and helped me to my feet. He wordlessly lumbered to the table, poured a flagon into a dented metal cup, and Brent, uh, handed the cup to me. Your health. He grunted. The fully null horror as 35. And again, all of these things I could pump three times. 
There's a lot of room to pump strength. I just keep moving forward so I can, you know, move forward on the tree. Class Lord Fighter, that's gonna hurt though. I gotta level up four times just to be able to use that once. But I can level up just once for Will. That's pretty good. Anyway, I am now even stronger. Let's go back to where we were. Which is not far away at all. Which I like. Ah, nuts. Building up my poison meter. There we go. I do like that they die in one hit. Just the door. Village of Smiles. Now there's a name. Ah, trap. Yeah, you see this little, the, the white wire with the two pegs? It was a lot harder to see in the dungeon, but there's a Bloodborne spike log up there. You see that? I wonder. I did roll through it. Oh, nice. Wow, this guy can tank. He's legitimately threatening. What the hell is this? I'll take a Feral Beast Tooth, I guess. Bell of Return. That guy had an elaborate death animation. What was his problem? Bronze Knight. A well-armored knight. These powerful warriors wordlessly patrol the islands, corralling the drowned and hunting the living. Six item drops, though. Like... That guy's worth a lot. But then we have these hanging bodies. That's a little intimidating. Oh, and apparently the significance of his elaborate death animation is that he doesn't respawn. There might be others later in the game that do respawn, but this one does not. So, oh well. Dark. Oh, well that's a joke. But there are guys below. doing oh got me vertically and foolishly went right into my line of fire what was he guarding pouch of salt very nice and three locks of hair i'll happily take that there's a way in there oops just to the left you can see another trap I don't know where the actual trap is. Oh, no, yes I do. It's this thing. Right? It's like crossbow bolt. Watch this. Nothing that time. I could take that thing out. That's actually pretty cool that you could break them. That's great. But otherwise, okay. Anyway, that's the trap. Am I... How do I get in there? Do I, like, drop in there? Oh, that's wild. Oh. Okay, that's pretty clever. That's pretty clever. Vine Mesh Peltarion. A peculiar... Oh, is it like the same? I'll have to look up what its actual defense is. But, a peculiar ceremonial shield of interwoven vines used in ritual dances by the headhunting tribes of Cadania. These shields are formed by painstakingly training certain defense species of Liana into a complex symmetrical mesh and allowing them to inosculate. Info, there we go. So, 100% slash defense, 86 strike defense. Yeah, this thing's physical defense goes to hell, but it's amazing against strikes and spectacular against poison. 
but I think I'll I'll take the current shield I have, but that's still pretty good. Bells of return, I'll take them. Ah, he just moved out of the way. Curses. But he had a friend, didn't he? If he did, I guess he went into the door. So that's just annoying enough. Also... Maybe nothing, but... And a bundle of salt. Why not? Yep, he went in here. And now he won't chase me. If there's something down there that looks kind of scary, I will ignore that. Okay, can't touch the candles, I guess. So this is back where I came from, right? Why, hello. Curiosity. What creature persists in the face of such suffocating despair? The others have begun to kneel. Will it join them? No. Such a brave, foolish curiosity. It will struggle then, and it will bleed, and it will fail. And one day, when it finds itself beaten and broken, gasping for air, choking on its own blood and tears, that will be the day that it kneels. And I will consume it. What? Nothing. Okay, I think that's it. That's uncomfortable. Goodbye. Got your guard. Bam! Bam! It's satisfying every time, I tell ya. But otherwise, anywhere to go from here. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. Okay, I did not activate this sanctuary. This one was just already in favor of the, f the three, it seems. I don't have that much salt, unfortunately. I keep confusing the freaking potato for bundles of salt. I have a pouch. I have a bundle. Yeah, that is not enough. But oh well. However, you no longer hold the new gods, eh? Shame. I suppose I can be of help. Talk by upgrade. Now that's an interesting one. I'll take it. Alright, talk. Back home we'd forge fine instruments from pure leaven steel. What do I craft here what do I craft with here? Salvage, salvage, salvage. That and memories. That's it? Alright. Easy. Can I buy anything? Arming sword? Midshipman's Dark? Well, whatever. Soldier Spear? Got it. Bow? Got it. Got it. Got it. Well, this was... I'm a knight, so I happen to start with that. Woodsman's Axe? Arming Sword? I wonder if these are the starting things for each class. But there's no Pitchfork. Wooden Targe? Heater Shield? That's a new one. And it's actually better than what I have in every regard, except for stagger reduction and slash defense, which goes down to 95% instead of 100. That is probably something I want. Cotton tunic, cotton trousers, I believe I have those. Uh, upgrade. I could upgrade my armor. How do I know what it costs to upgrade? I can upgrade my weapon as well. I might even want to do that. The thing is, the pitchfork... Well, the pitchfork is so horizontal, though. What if I do upgrade this? What if I do? What if I do? Wait, did that... 8 to 20? Or is this real life? What? A lock of hair and 250 salt? Uh, yes. Are you kidding me? Keep it coming. Why does it say, but I thought it was 24, it's just now it's 9.3? Eh. 
and now it costs a couple more locks of hair and 500 souls. But I'm, I'm going to do it. Now, I don't think I'm going to be able to afford level 3, but... A thousand salt, yeah. A soldier's poem, I don't even have that. I could upgrade my armor as well. There's a lot of stuff I could upgrade. I also kind of want to buy a heater shield. Like that, that's very good. Keep your wits about you out there. Don't you dare go hollow. And there's blacksmith's set. Freaking awesome. Okay. Blacksmith's apron. A thick leather apron worn by blacksmiths at the forge. It is designed to absorb intense sparks and cushion minor impacts, but is insufficient for turning aside purposeful blows from real weapons. Protect their hands in the searing heat of the forge. Indispensable for preventing burns, not so much for attacks. Re reinforced boots of thick leather. Protection from hot coals, but again, not for combat. Fair enough, but I have some really good stuff. So look at that, there's actually a use for salt other than leveling up. So it's kind of like souls, in that... The souls games, I mean, in that salt is for... Both leveling up and for currency. Except that I also have regular currency for currency. I'm gonna have to keep this in mind. But, if I equip the heater shield... It even is better for my weight. Yeah. Yeah, look at that speed. Look at that speed. Ah. Oh, it's pretty damn good. I like that the drop rate is tied to the rogue's mask. That's pretty amusing. Of course, the other stuff provides far better defense in almost every respect. And the weight goes up marginally. The chainmail, of course, is even better. But we'll settle with what we have. Let's chill. There we go. Not bad. For now, it is time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We advanced further to new areas, discovered the Village of Smiles, which is certainly creepy. But of course, before that, we got a bunch of secret areas. We found new merchants. We found our first blacksmith without having to use a stone one. Things seem to be looking up. But then there was that scarecrow. What was that thing's problem? I don't know, but maybe we'll find out. Until next time, everyone.